Hello again, my dears. Uh, how do you do? I hope you're fine and uh, healthy. And uh, my dears, and uh, I hope you're enjoying your time. Okay, spending your time uh, enjoyably and productively and doing uh, useful stuff for yourselves. Uh, my dears, uh, I have come back to uh, give you another uh, essential lesson. Okay, and this is the final uh, part of unit. Uh, eight in your reading and writing book and uh, this uh, is going to be the end of uh, you know your reading and writing book and after this I will give you some extra material to uh, uh, continue your practice okay during summer okay my dears I want you uh, to go to page uh, 100, 152 okay here we have what uh, we left some exercises from you know the grammar topic sentences with and which we explained in the uh, previous lesson okay we explained how to use and and we talked about simple sentences and compound sentences okay simple sentence is, is a sentence you know uh, which has a subject and a verb okay but compound sentence okay we have two sentences they are linked together they are linked together by and and they have two ideas in them okay not only one idea two ideas Right, yes, here we uh, finish the uh, remaining exercise of uh, uh, the grammar and and the uh, use, usage of and. Uh, uh, activity C. Here we add, it says, read these sentences and add commas to the compound sentences. And uh, we studied that as a rule. When you want to add a comma, you have to add the comma before and. Okay? So, in these sentences, look at what I did. Number one. But that year, John Wood made a promise, comma, and it changed his life completely. Do you see the comma before and? Number two, Wood had no salary, comma, and the organization's office was in his home. Number three, he had to raise a lot of money, comma, and hire good people. Okay, and try to do the remaining sentences and add comma before and. Okay, to link the uh, two sentences. In activity D, my dear, uh, our job is to uh, you know combine, to uh, link them together, each pair of simple sentences into a compound sentence. We have two simple sentences, okay, two simple sentences in all of them. So our job is to use and to link them. Number one is done. Look at number two. Richard joined the organization. Okay, so this is one sentence. So you you should say Richard jo joined the organization in two thousand ten, comma. And he became a vice president five years later. Okay, look at uh, number five. I promised my family a delicious dinner. I promised my family a delicious dinner, coma, and they loved everything that I made. Okay, there's a, there isn't you know much space for me to write down the, the whole sentence. Okay, so it's your uh, you know, uh, but this is how you do it. This is how you do you know you can do the other ones. I will leave uh, number seven, uh, four, and three for you, my dears. In activity E, we do what? Uh, write compound sentences. Okay, use your use the words, these words, and your own ideas. Okay, so this is you know uh, up to you how uh, to finish the sentence. Number one is done. Look at number two. My friend gave me a pen. Uh -huh. Gave me. You can add something. For example, my friend gave me a pen and I lost it. And I lost it. So, this is how you do it. But you have to, you know, add uh, and and the comma. Do not forget these two. Okay, because we are talking about uh, compound sentences. So, you should write down these two. Mm -hmm. The comma and and. So, this is how you do it. Uh, look at number six. I am a strong person. And I can, for example, do anything. I can do my job, you know, perfectly. Look at number five. I got a letter in the mail yesterday and I was very delighted, okay, to have a letter from my father, for example. So this is how you do it and use your, uh, uh, your opinion, use your own words to uh, complete these uh, compound sentences. But do not forget, I repeat, uh, my dears, do not forget the comma and the and, okay? I hope you uh, understood and have no problem with these. They are easy. They are very, very easy. And uh, here we come to our uh, 
most important section of the unit, which is the unit assignment, my dears. Uh, I have uh, told you, uh, like, you know, a billion times, okay, many times, that the unit assignment is one of the most important sections of a uh, unit that we study. In this unit, uh, we do what? We write about an important event in our life, okay? So y you have to uh, uh, make up uh, a timeline for yourselves, okay? And in this, uh, in this timeline, you can mention the name of four or five events, okay, that happened in your life. For example, you uh, travel to uh, somewhere, your, your parents, you know, uh, bought a car for you, for, for example, your parents bought a house, or any other event that you think is important in your life. When you make up a timeline, okay, then you can choose from that timeline and you can write down your uh, paragraph, okay. I have uh, prepared something for you, my dears, to help you understand more. This is a timeline of Sarah. So, Sarah uh, made this timeline, okay? Sarah is talking about, you know, important events in her life from 2010 to 2020, okay? In 2010, you know, she got married. In 12, uh, she uh, bought a house in Hawler. In uh, 15, you know, her, da her dad died. In uh, 17, uh, you know, uh, she uh, built a company with her, you know, husband. And in 2020, her mom, you know, had a stroke. When you have a stroke, you know, uh, you can check this, uh, you know, in dictionaries. When you have a stroke, that means that is a sudden attack uh, on one of the organs of your body. Okay, in uh, Kurdish, we say, I, have, I, I don't know if the, the word is Kurdish or not. But they say, uh, so that is stroke, okay? That is a sudden attack, uh, sudden, you know, health condition uh, on uh, one of the organs of your body, okay? Especially heart and, you know, sometimes brain, okay, brain uh, stroke or heart, you know, stroke. And this is the timeline that Sarah, you know, has, okay? So her job is to choose from these events and talk about them. Okay, look at our uh, first uh, part, okay, look. is to brainstorm, okay, as I, you know, uh, mentioned in this, uh, uh, you know, a timeline, you have to brainstorm, okay, uh, try to, uh, like, sketch down a timeline like this in your life, okay, and you have to, you know, write down at least five events, okay, or four events, and uh, mention the, you know, time of the year. Mention the year that event, you know, happened or took place. And then, once, once you are done with this, you can circle or you can choose one event or two events from this, from this timeline. Too important, you know, that you think is very important in your life. And then, you have to, once you are done with this, uh, you do what? You come here to activity B. Okay, my dears. You answer questions about that event. For example, when did it happen? When? The time. You have to mention, you know, the full date of that event. Where did it happen? The place which this event, you know, uh, comes from. And number three, who was there? Who was with you when this event happened? For example, my dad died. Okay, who was there? You know, obviously your family, your relatives, and talk about that, you know, in detail. Number four, what happened? What happened there? For example, when my dad died, okay, we took him to the, uh, you know, morgue, then we buried him, and there was a ceremony, we went to the funeral, and the mullah, you know, said prayers on his grave, and that kind of thing, okay? You can give a detail. Number five, how did you feel? How did you feel when this event happened? For example, I felt sad, I felt heartbroken, these kind of things. But give it detail. Uh, do not answer with only one sentence. Okay? Do your best to write down at least two sentences as an answer for these questions. Number six, why was it an important event? Why was this event, for example, an important event in your life? Why? Maybe it, it, it gave you, you know, too much pain. You can't, you know, forget that. Okay, or maybe the event, you know, helped, helped you to change your life completely. Okay, so uh, once 
once you are done with the timeline, the last thing you do, you come to write your uh, paragraph. You choose the event and you write the uh, name of the event here, okay, you know, above, at the top. Then when you come down, you explain, you know, in detail. I mean, you take the answers of these questions and you write them down here, one after another, okay? So write the answer of uh, number one, the first question here. Number two, number three, number four, number five, until the end. Okay? Until the uh, end and the answer of the sixth uh, question. Okay? So try to give it as much detail as you can. Okay? So you read that. So for example, I, when I read it, I understand why this event, for example, is important for you. And you can make people understand this event. Why is this, uh, you know, important, an important event in your life? There you go, my dears. This is how you do your unit assignment. It's very easy. There's nothing, you know, complicated and difficult about this. And uh, also, in the end, okay, you can uh, double-check your writing. This is, you know, important. You can double-check your writing using the checklist, mm -hmm. self-assessment checklist. And try to use, the, you know, the grammars of this unit in your writing. For example, compound sentences with and, uh, verbs, you know, simple past, and these, uh, you know, if you, if you double check it with this, okay, your paragraph will be, uh, you know, uh, more suitable, okay, it will be much more stronger, okay, and uh, there you go, my dears, so this is uh, the end of uh, today's lesson, and uh, you can, uh, you know, also find these uh, words we studied in this unit useful, okay, you can uh, use the, these in your writing as well, and uh, try to uh, write uh, something, you know, informative you know try to you know give it as much information as you can try to give it as much detail as you can okay there you go my dears that's all you have to do and as you can see this is the end of uh, you know our book and i hope you enjoyed every single lesson of this book and you found them useful and i want to thank those okay especially you know i want to thank all of you for, uh, you, you know, behaving responsibly, for, be, for being responsible in your duties, in your homeworks, and uh, for those who have shortcoming in their duties and, uh, you know, they are, are behind, I hope they watch the videos again and again and they can catch up like, you know, uh, your friends. Uh, I am very happy to say that I, you know, I miss you and I love you very, very much. And I very much, you know, respect every single one of you. And I thank you for uh, being, you know, uh, my besties. All of you, of course not, you know, some of you, all of you, for being my besties. And uh, that's it, uh, my dears. If you have any problem, you can, you know, you know, uh, you can contact me and I can provide, you know, the help. Thank you very much for listening and watching. And in the uh, next lesson, okay, I will... Uh, come back with uh, some useful material to with some useful sources of uh, you know information to help you continue your practice during summer okay thank you very much and bye bye